Well, hello, hello, everyone. Welcome. March fabulous, fabulous. Oh my goodness, Paula. It's been a day I've had too much caffeine or something. I don't know. So we have so many C's in the oils and we we're looking through them. We asked y'all for input and some of you gave some requests. I will say one of those requests was a shocker because I never even gave it any consideration. Caraway. So this weekend, my husband and I made all kinds of little game meat sausages. And a couple of the recipes called for caraway. So I will tell you the secret to it. This is potent stuff. You do not want to drop. You want a toothpick. But we were doing 10 pounds of a particular type of meat. So I used the fluid for that sausage and put one little drop of caraway in a whole cup of water for 10 pounds of meat. Doesn't that look delicious? Mm, yum, yum, yum. Anyways, a tad little more about caraway because you did ask. <clears throat> did you know? So this is from the Germans, okay? So the, there's a German le legend that says the goddess of the earth made her lovers disappear. And the only survivors that were her lovers that didn't disappear either carry caraway seed um, hidden on their body, right? Or they were wearing it in some way, like it was crushed and they were wearing it in some way. They were the only survivors. That's kind of funny. It takes two years for this plant to be ripe and ready. The seeds are actually the fruit of the plant. So if you wanna think about caraway, think about anything digestive, right? You want caraway, again, potent. So for me, I would think a drop in a veggie cap and top with oil and then swallow it or just rub it on your belly or your feet. And keep in mind, your belly is your second brain. You want to keep it happy. If it's not happy, it's really hard to function in the rest of your life. So caraway, lots of good, yummy, yummy, delicious recipes with caraway. All right, I am passing this on to Miss Amy. Thank you so much for that. I secretly, again, we say this every month, but I love that we learn these little tidbits from each other because that's a cool story that germs are. I got a little bit of German in me. So that's kind of fun. And there may be some little lovers that I just want to keep at bay and they ain't going to get my caraway. <laughs> All right. So um, we want to... Uh, say sorry that Miss Renee could not join us this month. Um, she had something come up. So we are just covering uh, for her and it is just us. But um, Miss Renee wanted to share with you guys about the oil console. All right, that was gonna be the oil that she wanted to talk about. And so I'm gonna share a little bit about this. This oil actually is a member of the uh, Emotional Aromatherapy uh, group, the blend. Um, doTERRA came up with it. It does come in a 5 ml and in a touch roller like you're seeing right here. Um, I prefer the touch, but um, the uh, 5 ml is great if you need to diffuse it. So um, this is considered the comforting blend. I like to say this is when you feel like you need a big hug. Like this is really just, uh, it, it helps when you're feeling angry, depressed, um, if you need to feel a little bit uplifted, if you're dealing with some sorrow or grief from a loss, whether that be loss of a marriage, loss of a job, loss of a loved one, whatever, that's going to help kind of bring in the happiness again. Like I say, it's going to give you like that big hug. The single oils that are in this blend is frankincense. There is patchouli in it. I know there's a number of people, including Miss Paula, who have patchouli aversions. Um, Paula, do you like King and Soul or no? No. Sometimes like the patchouli is really um, hidden well in blends and sometimes it still really shines depending on who you are and, and your uh, a, a version or attraction to patchouli. I can actually smell it in here, but I don't mind it. Cause also there is ylang ylang, labdanum, amaris, sandalwood, rose, and osmanthus. So you get a really good blend of the grounding, more rooted frankincense, patchouli oils, as well as the more floral, the ylang ylang, the rose, the osmanthus. We also have the sandalwood in there. All of these just really great to kind of just really um, heal the heart in a lot of ways. So we talked a little bit about some of the generic emotions. Um, let's just, just dive into the emotions book like we know that Miss Amy always does. Let me show you the cover of it. Essential emotions, this is my, my go-to. Um, 
So this is formulated, again, this is a blend created by doTERRA to assist individuals who are in need of emotional comfort. It soothes emotional pain after periods of extreme stress or trauma. And after the last couple of years, I think we are still just kind of trying to come out of it. Um, and, you know, we just are finishing um, February's month and we're jumping into spring, which is exciting. But if you feel like you still got some old muck and stuff to deal with, this is a great one to start applying to finish healing those old traumas and, and kind of put them to rest, right? Um, they assisted individuals, like I said, that are burdened by loss, grief, or tragedy. Um, and when past emotional hurts resurface, so we know sometimes we can get triggered, different things can remind us, um, different circumstances, console assists in releasing those old emo emotional burdens. So this can really be a great one to ease the burdens in that way. So um, again, helps with uh, trauma, anxiousness, restlessness, if you feel unsettled, um, if you feel burdened, this is a great oil blend for that. So um, console, how many of you guys are gonna be trying that one? It's a great one to have on hand, even you know, to gift to friends who are going through hard times. That's one of my favorite ones to uh, share with friends of mine that may have suffered a loss or struggling. So um, it's one of my favorite things to share is the oils. So I'm going to pass it on to Miss Brenda for our next sea oil. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, you know, as I'm listening to you, like we all when we read any of this and we're getting ready to teach, we focus on what we're getting ready to present to you guys. And as Paula said earlier, we're always still amazed at everything that we learn. And as I'm listening to Amy present console, I'm chuckling because it is the precursor to using cilantro. Like as she just said, you know, it helps with all of those feelings, with all of uh, the emotions and everything that you're going through as to when you listened about cilantro, it facilitates a detoxification of negative emotions and debris. So as you're using the console to kind of mix those things up, you use the cilantro to say bye-bye and get rid of that and, and the detoxification. So anyway, had to tie those together because I thought that was awesome. So for most of you, cilantro is just a light, fresh, wonderful, invigorating smell that you cook with. Some of you, it smells like soap. Um, and I always laugh at the some of you who don't like the smell of something because we all know that that means that little part of you and that emotional part of you that doesn't like that needs a little work. So cilantro, um, for the emotions, as I just said, it facilitates the detox detoxification of the negative emotions and debris. Um, the emotional cleansing, especially encourages the release of worry and control as it assists individuals in centering in their true self. Cilantro liberates that soul from the heavy burdens, um, enabling that individual to live light and free. That's when you like the smell, right? Like you can handle that. The negative emotions that, that will happen um, that you have when you smell this um, that means again, that you need to do some extra cleansing, but those negatives are controlling, you're toxic, constricted, obsessive, compulsive, clingy, you're worried, you're trapped. Start using it. Put it on your feet if you don't like the smell. There is a reason that your body is rejecting it. It's because it doesn't want to get healthy. It doesn't want to face it. And I have a great story, but this is not the time nor the place to talk about Jasmine. So, um, on the physical level of it, the heavy metal detox. Um, this and celery seed, which I've talked about before, I think. I think, I think that was, was that last month? Okay, yeah. Um, are awesome for heavy metal detox. I, and we get it from everywhere. I'm not gonna hop on certain pokes that we can get in our arms and other places, but we get it from that. You can get it from cooking in the wrong pans. You can get it from eating, overeating too many fish or contamination from fish. And I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna say this, 
I've worked in the environmental field. I'm a geologist. So yeah, I know about the contamination. I do know what I'm saying. And that, yes, it does come from water. It does come from in the fish. It comes from so many places. It's re absolutely ridiculous. Phenomenal oil to take internally along with your celery seed to help detox any heavy metals that you have in your system. Um, gas and bloating, it's, it's a great one um, also. Like Paula was talking about caraway seeds, cilantro is another great one um, for abdominal issues. Um, and I have this in my kitchen. So we've got all of these wonderful benefits with this, right? One of God's many, many blessings that he's put on this earth for us. And cilantro is in my kitchen because not only do I get to help with my detoxing of negative emotions, I get to detox my body with it but I also get to cook with it and make things taste absolutely wonderful. I use this if, um, you know, I, I have a grocery store right here, but I don't have a really big one. And sometimes they get out of things. I have to drive 25 miles to get to a decent sized city to get some groceries. Um, and with that, if I don't have fresh cilantro or they don't have fresh cilantro, I use this. Um, I use it in my salsa. I use it when I make um, like a pad thai dish there's a lot of different things I can use this for. Um, now, some of you are gonna be like, oh, well, if I don't have cilantro, I can use coriander. Mm, yeah, they're the same plant, but the coriander is actually the seed and it is a uh, different constituents, helps with different things, totally different plant, uh, oil to use for different things. But anyway, so this is my love. I, I love this. One of the great things you can pair it with, um, for your diffuser um, or on you, you can do um, cilantro and ginger to digest and dissolve uh, stagnation from the lungs. Uh, cilantro and lemon cleanses, um, cleanses just kind of rotten residue after initial clearing of different crap in your emotions. Cilantro and, and lime, okay, it's no smirks. Breaks down stubbornness and releases old attachments. So the stubbornness, all right, Amy, see, look at Amy's laugh. So, all right, I'll get out the lime and I will use it with my cilantro, which I do anyway, because I pair those together in those two dishes I was talking about. So anyway, um, another oil blend, a diffuser blend, two cilantro, two ginger, two lemon, two lime, and one fennel. It's a cleanse, it helps detox your story and helps just kind of make a little bit lighter because it's such a, a wonderful smell. And again, if you have a diversion to it, call me. All right, next is Ms. Paula. Oh, Friend, yeah. That recipe of that cleanse your story thing, um, could you post it uh, on the group page or on this uh, workshop comments or something so that people could access it also? Or you could send it to me and I can create a I'll, I'll send it to you because sometimes I know that our um, comments don't always roll over. Oh, no, I meant comment of the um, workshop on the Facebook thing, but either oh, way. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, we'll do it. We'll get it to you. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. And Paula, you up, sister. All right. I have to say, wow, that's a lot. So could I put cilantro and Epsom salt in my cup? Absolutely for a detoxifier as well. And I do that. Um, I do that often. Like if I'm feeling um, because of my allergies with onions, um, if I go somewhere and I happen to get that allergy, that's an oil that goes into my tub immediately along with obviously taking my supplements, but it really helps pull that kind of crap out of my system as well. <laughs> So. Nice. Well, as you know, but our audience didn't know, I do allergy injections. And so when you were talking, I'm like, hmm, I wonder if I should be doing a nice hot tub with some cilantro. Well, and cilantro yeah. is actually one that I always suggest to people who just have had surgery, whether it be oral surgery or anything, because there's so many metals in a lot of the medications that they're giving us in anesthesia. And that just bogs down our liver and kidneys and everything like that. You know, sometimes after surgery, it's hard to have a BM, right? And so all those metals just kind of get clogged in there. So I always suggest cilantro on the bottom of your feet 
I love the idea of doing it in a bath, pull those heavy metals out that are in that anesthesia and stuff. We don't have any way around it. So you have to have it. I mean, you don't want to be alive on the table, but um, you know, it, it does have its impact on the body. So pull it out the minute you get it. I love it. And the other thing was, because Brenda's down there giggle, giggle about, you don't want the smell of something. So I pulled out my emotions book and looked at patchouli really quick. <laughs> Cause I hate it. And, uh, yep. I do not accept my body. And it's not like, Ooh, I think I'm fat. Uh, it's that I'm having lung issue and I'm in a battle with my body about that. So, um, patchouli's right up that alley. <laughs> so I guess I'll have to smell some dang patchouli moving on. I will say I tried to do my caraway quickly and didn't look at the few notes I took because you won't find it in the emotions book. You won't find it in the modern essential, the live and eat that. So I had actually searched and wrote a few things down and forgot to look at it and tell you. So you can find caraway in a couple of our products, all the digestive products, all the digest Zen products you can find it in as well as the, um, which five minutes it in? Let me look too. To do the VMZs, the vegan and the regular. It's in both of those. It's part of the tummy tamer blend. So that tells you how important it is. So enough about caraway. I'm going to talk about citronella. What do y'all know about citronella? Honestly, I thought citronella, what's that, Ames? You love it? Okay. I thought citronella was all about getting rid of the bugs, rather that's human bugs, energy sucking bugs, or bugs outside. Like that's really all I thought it was for. But again, prepping for class. <laughs> all these big words that I highlighted about this oil. Come on now. All right. I got to tell you its properties. Analgesic, antibacterial, antifungal, anti-inflammatory, antiseptic, antispasmodic, deodorizing, insecticidal, which we already knew. So it affects your immune system and your nervous system. Like this is a really big oil. I did not actually realize until I was jumping in here. It's um, kind of floral and citrusy. Um, it's grounding, but uplifting at the same time, if that makes sense at all. If it doesn't get yourself some citronella and smell it. Um, I actually have always liked the smell of this in my diffuser because I feel like it like um, cleanses the room, freshens the room. Like it's not like psh, psh, spray with something where it covers up that nasty smell. It, it makes all the background stuff go away. So I feel like I'm walking into a nice, fresh, clean room, if that makes sense. So I'll tell you, historically, <clears throat> this oil belongs to the same family of aromatic oil-rich tropical grasses, such as lemongrass and palmarosa. Lemongrass, by the way, is one of my all-time favorites. So I, no wonder I like this one, citronella. It's used it as an insecticide, of course, but it's also used for arthritis and other aches and pains. Did you know that? So what if you've been using an oil for whatever, month after month after month, and it's not quite working on that ache and pain anymore? Consider swapping it out with citronella. So great oil to be layering for those aches and pains, right? And by layering, I mean, pick some of the other ones. If you don't know, if you have questions, ask. We'll give you some recipes. Um, it's actually been used in many diverse cultures for fever. Does anyone ever get that toddler and they just can't bust that fever? Peppermint's not helping. Patchouli's not helping. So Think about it. Here's yet another one back of the neck, right? Let's worry about that fever. Get rid of that. It's used for intestinal parasites, uh, menstrual problems. So I think I might put it in a roller and just label it tummy or something and give it to that teenage girl in the other room. <laughs> um, it works as a stimulant. So they got all them crampies going on and clericoms not cutting it. Layer with citronella. Just a thought. Other possible uses, of course, would be colds, flu, headache, minor infections, excessive perspiration. Who would have thought? Like, I wouldn't have thought to put this under my arms, but maybe that's, now I will. That's a great tip because I have a bunch of friends of mine who, you know, they have to get the antiperspirant. You know, we know the chemicals are in the antiperspirant and they can't just get a deodorant, right? Because they don't want to be sweating so much. Like, have you ever seen those people who just walk around with like Kleenex? I think there's a movie she walks around with Kleenexes under it. And I've never, I did not know that. I am like so blessed you just shared that because there are people who just sweat and just sweat. And if that could just be applied to the pits and kind of slow down the excessive perspiration, bam. Well, it should be seven surgery to pull the sweat blends out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You don't want that. Well, plus, I mean, the smell is a whole lot better. So you wouldn't even have to, <laughs> although I have to say a lot of people sweat and they don't stink, but like, uh, I live in the desert 
and it's definitely over 100 degrees here all summer long. So we'll talk about sweaty. So I'm actually going to try this with my citrus bloom deodorant this summer and see Ooh, how that works. That's awesome. Um, I love that idea. Right. I, I was I was happy that I read that. Um, obviously, insect repellent. Right. So citronella, again, I didn't realize how much it covers. There's our motions book. Yes, it's the older one. I don't care. They all have info. Um, let's see. It repels unwanted invaders from the body and the energy field. I kind of hinted at that in the beginning. It's one of those oils, by the way, that you can do a Paula touch. So that person is sucking your energy and being annoying. You know, you put it on your fingertips and you just, how's it going today? Paula touch. Now you got oil on them. They can go away. Moving on. It expels those undesirables with Paula touch, right? <laughs> Once you've established who they are, use your citronella. So it's especially helpful when individuals have been unconsciously allowing little irritations and judgments to build up over time. That means in themselves, right? They're stuffing those feelings down in themselves. Reoccurring negative thoughts and reactions accumulate and stagnate in various parts of your body creating havoc. So if y'all don't know about all those little emotional, physical havoc causing things, Amy's really your girl for this. Like I didn't believe that when we started, but now I actually am. And I'm your girl too. And so is Brenda. You can ask any of us, we can help. But I did not know that when we started this um, many years back, huh, Ames? It assists in breaking the energetic cycle of constant irritation and teaches how to release the degradating state so they don't continue to prey on your life force. So do you get what that means, folks? You got something that just rubs you raw and you just keep stepping it down, stepping it down, don't address it, just ignore it. Rather, it's a boss, a spouse, or whatever. Something is getting stuffed down in there and now you're having all these physical issues with it. Break that crap up, get some citronella, right? Bottoms of your feet and your diffuser, just smell it, cup it in your hand. Do the deep breaths. One, deep breath will help calm you. Two, deep breath will help get that citronella through your system and start breaking up that toxic crap in there. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, again, Make some comments, we'll all respond. All right, I think I've talked enough today. So I'm gonna pass this on to the beautiful Miss Amy. Aw, thank you. We, oh my gosh, we have run the gamut of this sea escapade in March and I'm really loving the momentum of it. We talked about the spicy caraway, we went into the consoling the heart, we talked about the cleansing properties of cilantro and then we're on to even better different type of cleansing of sorts right through citronella like it's the each of them has their place right and i'm gonna wrap it up with one of my new favorite seas i actually have been diffusing this oil every day for probably about a month now i i add it into my diffuser i add a couple other ones in there too but this one has become one of my favorites and it is citrus bloom sorry if you can't really see that um it is like Paula just said, in the deodorant, right? It also is in our hand wash. So we have the abode hand wash line and they have citrus bloom in that, right? And in the citrus bloom lotion. Sorry, my light is really reflecting bad. Um, so you, this is the refillable pack for the abode line of this. So, um, that being said, I always, we know through On Guard when something is that good and they put it in everything, um, there's a good reason. And there is a reason of this. So let me touch quickly on the physical facts of this one, which, um, so this actually is a blend again. Yes, the hand lotion, yes. And she's got the deodorant, yes, 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 yes. Um, this actually is a blend made up by doTERRA. Um, that is called the springtime blend. So, so appropriate. We are talking about it here in March. We are just days away from starting spring and I love it. And this actually is so fitting with where we're at right now. And even in the cycle of this workshop, as well as in the cycle of the year and over the last couple of years, this is the oil of new beginnings. <sighs> just that phrase just makes me go, Okay, let's start new. And I really, that's why I've been diffusing it at night while I sleep because every day is a new beginning and that has really been great. In fact, in the Modern Essentials book, I love the way they write this up. So I'm literally going to just read this to you because it says, good morning, sunshine. 
that's what it says in the book. Like literally, good morning, sunshine, because that's how it makes you feel. It says, get the soft and subtle lift of springtime all year round with crisp citrus, soothing mint, and luscious floral essential oils. So specifically the oils that are in here is clary sage, lavender, bergamot, Roman chamomile, cedar wood, lang lang, geranium, fennel, carrot seed, palmarosa, and vitix. I haven't heard of vitix but it's in here. So we, we're rolling with that. I never smelled it individually. If somebody has, comment below and share what it smells like. But this is helps to balance the mood, calm the stress and tension. Okay. So this again, kind of has, you know, that leveling grounding effect, but also is invigorating and motivating because it's like, good morning, sunshine, right? So it's uplifting, positive anxiety. This can help you kind of chill out. Um, if you're feeling like in a little bit of a funk or you're doing a little bit of up and down, up and down, you need some emotional balance. This can help. If you need to focus, right? This is a great one. Just for, like I say, it has that motivating yet relaxing all at the same time. <sighs> How cool is that? I love that it covers both. Okay, um, just as a safety reminder, right? Um, that this one, if you're using it in the same place on your body, let's say you're rubbing it over your heart consistently over and over and over again, you can get a little sensitive sensitivity in that same area. So just be aware, you may need to use some coconut oil once in a while with it. But you know, I'm talking like if you're doing it consistent all the time, I haven't had any problems with that, but some people are more sensitive than others. So let's dive into a little bit more of the emotional before we wrap this up with you guys, because this is such a great way to end this because it's spring and we're all ready to just jump in. Um, in each individual's life, there is a time when the previous chapter comes to a close and a new one is about to begin. This blend is an ally during that transition phase um, where where what is about to emerge may still be unseen. I'm kind of finding myself in that right now. Uh, I know I'm supposed to be moving. I know there's a move coming on, but I don't know where, I don't know when, I don't know how this is gonna happen. So I'm in that transition phase. So this is gonna allow for that growth, that openness on my part to be able to see what is supposed to happen and I won't be closed off I won't be stuck in the past like right this is a great oil to use after you have cleansed out the negativity and you've healed that heart and you've kind of prepped yourself with all these other oils we've talked about in here to really start to open up to see the next it reminds that while one can always learn from past mistakes an abundance of compassion is essential while processing regret. So there's still that, you know, feeding that little bit of wounds that we may have in the heart too. It inspires excitement for new possibilities as every road is an opportunity to discover new parts of the self and embrace adventure. Are you struggling with spontaneity? Because if you are, this is going to really help you just open up and really be ready for something new, something fresh and be excited about it. Instead of if you struggle with change or things like that, you may be a little bit more negative towards that. So this is going to help you feel a little bit more positive, more open to it. Um, it encourages individuals to really listen to themselves and honor the messages that you receive. So we always are working on listening to that inner self, that intuition that we have within us. And this is going to really help us to kind of amplify that and hear it. Citrus Bloom, I'm telling you, it is the bomb diggity, which is why we have it in lotion, in hand wash, in, you know, deodorant, like uh, the oil, mm, so fresh, so clean. And just, it's just happy. It's just happy. And it's a different type of happy than citrus bliss. We do have the citrus bliss, but this is a little different. It's new. It's fresh. It's new beginnings. It's springtime. I love it. So if you haven't tried citrus bloom or any of the other oils, console, cilantro, hello, diversity on that one. That's my favorite to throw into my salsa. I'm actually going to cook with it in my ground beef that I'm making for tacos tonight. So, um, or caraway, like she used in the sausage or even the citronella. We are coming into summer and spring. The bugs will be out. Oof, we got all kinds of oils. So 
this is the end of our seats, <laughs> but there's still more seats. We did not do every single seat. So um, February and March, we covered seats. Guess what's coming in April? We hope to see you guys there. We absolutely love doing these workshops and we hope that you enjoy them as well. And we will see you guys next month. See? <laughs> see? Oh, that was good. See? <laughs>